Hey everybody, this is Claire and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go to thrift stores or I go to estate sales or sometimes I buy things from Craigslist. And I'm always looking for things that I think you guys would find interesting or that I particularly like myself. And I bring them home, try and find out as much as I can about them and then tell you guys about them. So here's what I got today. It is this rather interesting teacup. I hope it, it the color actually shines as much on it. It is incredibly shiny. Um, this is a teacup and saucer set. I don't generally get many of these, unfortunately. I just, a lot of the times when I see them in thrift stores, they, like if they're nice, if they're like Royal Windsor or Royal Albert or whatever, like the really good ones, they're way too expensive. Like I see teacups priced up to $30, like teacup sets. And it's usually just because like it's a Royal Albert piece and it's like, that. come on, <laughs> taking the piss a bit. Anyway, this particular set I got as part of a larger lot a while ago off Craigslist. Um, I think, like, based on everything that was there, this probably cost maybe about two dollars. I'm not really sure. Um, it was just as part of a larger lot that I bought for about thirty bucks. Um, I was really buying it for a lot of glassware, and this kind of came along with it. And well, you know, it's a, it's a nice teacup. Um, I haven't done a video on it for quite a while. Um, mostly because I've been obviously making videos about something else. Um, I thought it now would be a good time to do it because I've had it for so long and I've actually had it up on eBay for quite a while. And I'm thinking the time has come that I've either got to like do something with it or kind of let it be passed on to somebody else because there clearly is no interest in someone actually buying this. Um, it's just that the, there isn't enough kind of market interest there in this particular set of like teacup. Anyway, it is by Clarence Bone China, made in England. And we can talk about that in a minute, but first let's measure these up. It is about five and a half inches across on the saucer. Obviously, it's the saucer is only going to be about three quarters of an inch high. And the teacup itself, four and a half inches across with the handle, without the handle, maybe three and three quarters and about two and a quarter inches high there we go so it is a very nice set and you can see on the inside that that is basically all hand painted it shines so much <laughs> you can see in the handle there as well um we would usually see this being far more far more damaged than it is, but I think this is meant to be a display piece. This is not meant for regular use. Um, it is all hand painted all the way around in remarkably nice condition. And if you can see it there, what it looks like is that essentially the flowers were painted on, okay, and then the gold was painted around the flowers. It might be easier to actually see this on the, the saucer. But you can see the way that the gold has actually been placed. And you can, you can obviously see this is a bit damaged there, unfortunately. And that is so hard to read. <laughs> you have a very, very tiny little signature, which is almost impossible to make out. And I wish that they had dated it as well, but it doesn't look like I can read it. It just looks like that could be or oh, oh, something. But yeah, if there is a, a year or date or anything in that, unfortunately, it's lost. Like, it's too hard to make out. But still, it's an, it's very nice. It's hand painted. I'm pretty sure that this is 24 karat gold because it frequently is, especially if you see paint, if you see kind of these amazing teacups. They generally are like this beautiful gold kind of decoration. It's usually 24 karat gold. And this one is just like, there's a lot going on here. Now, I said all that, what do we actually know about Clarence? Bone China itself, and the unfortunate thing is that there's a you know there's not a lot. So I actually did a search to see if there actually just is there any kind of history of teacups with twenty four karat gold. Turns out there is quite a bit. Clarence Bone China definitely did a lot of this kind of stuff. Um, not ones to this extent, I have to say. That's why I'm kind of thinking that this is a decorative piece. A lot of the stuff that I see here has got like prints on it. Um, I actually found. I think the closest I could find here is actually this. This is on replacements.com. There is a particular pattern, whatever, by Clarence. And you can see that there are multiple pieces in the, well, there it says just a flat cup and saucer. 
There are a bunch of other patterns that do with multiple pieces. This one only is only the saucer and the cup. And you can see that the shape of the cup is broadly similar, especially on the handle to the one that we've got here. So again, just the saucer and the cup. It doesn't specify, unfortunately, if it's hand painted. And I don't have the listing for, oh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. So you can see that they did, they did, they did other stuff, I think. They did a lot of teacups, but they definitely did stuff other than teacups. Pink and purple flowers on green, not known. Yeah, there is n almost no information, I'm afraid, about Clarence specifically. The only thing I can really get in, share with you is this, the Cooperative Wholesale Society Limited. Now, uh, this is essentially just a co-op co that existed in Stoke-on-Trent. They were around since the turn of the 20th century, and they essentially owned like unoperated businesses around Stoke-on-Trent, one of them being essentially their, their bone china stuff. And so this is the Cooperative Wholesale Society Limited of China, um, a bone china manufacturer, Windsor Pottery, blah, blah, blah. But they also operated earthenware factory at Crown Clarence Pottery. And so it kind of begs the question, like, did they, did they actually produce this at the Crown Clarence Pottery thing? And I kind of think they didn't. I think they actually used, I think they used the Windsor Pottery, but they just marked it differently. If you scroll down here, typical bone china viewer, this is actually really useful. This is basically an example of like two different ones that are just like, here's Royal Windsor when they were operating it. And here is another similar set, but it's got a different mark basically when, when they were doing it. This may be a mark used after 1971 by Hammersby and took over the business and route as Royal Windsor. Good for photo reference. But anyway, marks used for identification. The one that we're specifically interested in, Royal Windsor again, this one, mid 1950s plus. Now, Clarence Bone China made in England. That is the one that we kind of want. But do we have any more information? We sort of do. We know that in 1971, the business was sold to Hammersley and Co. in London, ran the business, the works as a separate business under the name Royal Windsor. And they also operated the earthenware factory at Clan Clarence. Can we actually assume that they sold that at the same time? Do we have any information about Clarence Bone China being produced after the 1970s? To be honest, I cannot find anything. All we really have is just the teacup or other teacups like there is so little information um one kind of interesting point that i found is that vintage clarence bone china teacup this actually, this is one that actually has the same mark as that has a lead level in it that's unsafe for kids or effectively anybody i definitely think this is only for decor at this point I also have a little bit here about the Cooperative Society itself in Stoke-on-Trent and a little bit about like their history and everything. Um, I'm not sure if anybody's hugely interested in that. It's not specifically related to the pottery. It's just more about like the, the co-op itself and what they actually did in Stoke-on-Trent. Um, yeah. Now, like the big question is, what is this actually worth? Considering that I got it in a lot and it probably cost me maybe two or three dollars, what could it possibly sell for? And I can tell you this much effectively it sells for nothing because i've had it probably on ebay and i think i've had i've had it up for maybe 30 dollars and i've in that time i have gotten practically no interest on it and no offers and as far as i can tell nobody wants it it's nice um it's got that little bit of damage there which i think doesn't really doesn't really detract from too much. It's like if it's a decor piece, you literally just turn that to the inside, don't look at it, you know? But yeah, like, that's it. Nobody wants it. It's nice. It's just not nice enough and there's no market. Um, Yeah, it's a shame. We don't really, we have so little to go on. We can't really kind of, we don't have much of a story going on here anyway, because it's possibly made by a company that possibly sold a factory in the 1970s. So this is possibly 1950s to 1970s but we don't have anything in really else and if it is not part of a pattern it's less likely to be you know for anybody to, to to want it because people will collect patterns obviously they i don't think there's as much of this collecting like uh like just essentially pieces to go in to go in and be used for decor or nothing else certainly not ones like this yeah maybe it's just not a millennial thing i don't know 
But anyway, I think that I will probably discount a little bit more, possibly put it up on Etsy and basically just be upfront about what it is and, you know, and I'll take the price down a little bit and see if anybody's got any interest. I will give it probably a few more weeks and I'll see if there's, you know, if anyone's going to like it. And I suppose barring anything else, I'll probably just send it right back to the thrift store and hope that someone else will, will take it and appreciate it. I'm sure that it's nice enough and kind of shiny enough that someone's going to want to spend a couple of dollars on it just to, you know, just because they like having something nice and shiny around their house. So here we go. This is my small joyful thing for the day. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.